yeah welcome back to my channel and if you're new welcome so in today's video i'm going to share with you guys four hairstyles four hairstyles for graduation four cat friendly hairstyles so all these hairstyles in this video is going to look perfect with your cap on because majority of the time when we're in graduation we are wearing our caps it's only like after the ceremony where we take off our hat and maybe take like more photos then okay so all these hairstyles are perfect i have a natural hairstyle that i'm going to share with you guys in this i have a wig hairstyles i have like ponytail hairstyles so you guys definitely continue watching this video because i have a hairstyle for all yeah and i want you guys to comment down below what your fave hairstyle is and guys all these hairstyles are super simple and easy Easy. that's what I like so that's what I'm gonna share with all you guys simple easy hairstyles that you can do at home okay or you can get someone else to do for you but you just have this hairstyle in mind now I also have a graduation a makeup tutorial on my channel now it's not this one so the, the makeup tutorial is more of a colorful makeup look because I feel like majority of her gowns are like all black so why not add color with your eyeshadow and it's really nice I feel like it looks good so you guys definitely watch I'm gonna link the video because guys I only have 100 views on that video I don't understand why I really liked how that makeup came out and how it looked in general like the quality is really good so if you guys are interested in seeing these hair tutorials make sure you guys stay tuned and let's begin okay so the first hairstyle here is just very loose curls and i am wearing a wig okay so you guys are going to want to have hairstyles that will complement the hat that you're wearing because all of us are going to be wearing hats so i just felt like having your hair like flat at the top and then having curls at the bottom is what's going to look good i'm just going to sit up a little bit so you guys can curls so they're really loose now you want to ensure that you guys spray hairspray in your guys hair so the curls don't drop even looser <laughs> like how my curls are dropping so i'm just gonna finish up this hairstyle with you guys having curls in a graduation cap always looks good and it's something different than just having like straight hair because i feel like straight hair is like an everyday thing that we usually do let's change it up a little bit by adding curls and then all i'm doing is adding um this curler here i got it on amazon i don't feel like it's the best one curl that i've had before but if you guys are interested in purchasing it i'll put it on amazon but again i'm gonna let you guys know that i'm saying it's not the best one that i've ever had they're just like really big loose curls you guys have to be careful because you guys will burn yourself and then i'll fix it back after now i do wigs mostly but again you can obviously do this look obviously like sew in a closure and then do this hairstyle i just feel like wigs are easier to deal with and again all these hairstyles are not with um wigs some of them are with natural hair like you guys can see again i count to like 50 seconds so basically a minute i feel like for graduation you want to look like simple but nice it's not like prom just graduation right you want to look simple elegant and nice so that's what i'm being like really like Cute, the simple hairstyles that we could wear so this is curled and this is curled all you want to do is just brush down the top because we're going to go in with our cap and then literally picture it like the cap's going to be like sitting right here picture it the cap's going to be sitting on here and ever all this is going to be covered right so this only makes sense for it to be flat and then i'm going to go in with my hair wax gel so you guys can find like a hair wax gel and you guys can rub it in your hand and then just Put it at the top of your hair to tame flyaways. And then again, if you want to comb out the curls, you can definitely do that. I feel like this looks fine. Should I touch up this side a little bit more? Okay, so this is it for this first hairstyle. As you can see, it's super simple and easy. All I used was a wand curl, and I got this hairstyle. Oh yeah, and so don't forget to put in hairspray as well. Hairspray is going to hold in these curls and lock them in. You guys don't want your hair, your hard work dropping. Looking all nice, so I'll show you guys how this looks fully. Really Okay, so we're on to the next hairstyle. Now this one I like because it adds a lot of character, adds edginess. It just looks good because again, we're wearing a cap for the majority of the time. So all you're going to mainly see is down here. So why not add care to the ends of your hair? So we're going to be doing that by crimping our hair. So I got this from Amazon as well. It's from the same brand as Curling One. Uh, this brand, I... Honestly, I wouldn't recommend it because I just feel like there, there's better tools out in here That takes less time to create the hairstyle like with these crimps I feel like it takes so long for me to do them I have to go over them a little bit more because the heat cut that's coming out of here is not even as strong Again, I'm gonna link it in the description if any of you guys want to purchase this now if you guys are looking at my hair and you guys are saying like some of them are like super defined like this one and it's just hard and some of them are really soft it's because i'm trying to see what type of look i like do i like the really super defined look or do you like the soft look i feel like when i put the hairspray in the crimp it defines the curl a lot more but it's just really hard and who's trying to walk around with hard crimps right and then 
when it's no hairspray in the hair at all I feel like the crimps just fall out after a while I just left two pieces that we can do together now when it comes to crimping you want to get like small pieces like this section this amount should be the biggest amount or even smaller Anyways, you just want to go in and crimp I'm gonna do this without any hairspray I might have to add some in yo and the thing is this thing takes so long to heat up so you just want to make sure that you come up this as I said I'm gonna add a little bit of um, hairspray to hold it Make it more defined, but not like too, too defined. Okay, so now we're going to style the hair after done crimping. I'm just going to take off. Then the cap is going to be on our head. We don't really have to do too business, like how the top is styled. Well, I personally feel so. What you can just do is like have like a simple middle part or side part. And then even you can go ahead and like pin this back if you want or you can just leave it like this now i don't really comb out the crimps yeah i'm gonna add some bobby pins so i have like these extra long bobby pins okay so something like this okay so that's it for this hairstyle here as you can see it's just like a really cute crimped hairstyle that will look good for your cap great for graduation guys let's go into our next hairstyle okay so we're going on to the next hairstyles it requires us to take off this Guys, I always use glueless. I always do glueless wigs in style because I like taking off my wig at the end of the day. Now, we're going to ignore my hairline because some of the got to be sprayed took off my makeup. So what we're going to do is go in with your hair oil because for this hairstyle, you want your hair to look moisturized. You don't want it to look all dry and embarrassing. So you're just going to make sure your head have hair oil in it. And we're going to take out my braids because we're going to be doing a braid out for this hair tutorial. I feel like this is going to look so good. Because, okay, so for my graduation one of my friends she wore her natural hair she wore an afro like a braid out and it just looks so good and i was like why didn't i think of doing it so i was just like you know what i'm going to show people that and give people that as an option for graduation to literally wear like an afro or a braid out so the next graduation i go to i'm definitely doing like a braid out or an afro because that's the style so you just want to go and take out your pain rolls, your, your plaits that you have in your hair, your individual plaits. And I also on my channel, I have guys, I have so many braid out tutorials. I have braid out tutorials that you can do with one product. I have braid out tutorials that you do with no product at all. Like I have it all on my channel. So you guys have to just look in the hair section of my channel. What I do for each one that I take out, with every one that you take out, just give some volume. Like tease your hair a little bit at the, at the roots to give volume. You're going to thank me later instead of doing it way at the end. So you're just going to want to do that with every one. Okay, I'm almost done with taking out my hair. I'm just on the last few one. I think I'm going to do middle part. I should do braid outs more often. This looks good. Okay, I'm just going to do middle part because I don't really care. So this is how it looks. I just have to add back on makeup on my forehead because that's embarrassing if I don't. Okay, so this is the braid out hairstyle. Now, you can go in with doing your baby hairs if that's what you're into. But whenever I do braid outs, I never go in with doing my baby hairs. I just like how it looks like really natural and nice. So this is the next hairstyle. As you can see, it's just a braid out, afro type, really big. It's really nice. All you just have to do is put your cap on and it looks so good, guys. I really really this is like my favorite ha hairstyle out of all of them so far <laughs> it looks so good and as you can see it was really easy all you needed was basically hair oil and your hair being in like braids or plaits and that's really it yeah so that's it for this one so let's go on to the next tutorial okay so on to the next hairstyle so this style here I'm thinking okay this is what we're gonna do are we gonna cane roll I think we're going to cane roll I'm thinking of just twisting the front and then I'm going to do the same for this side. So what you're going to want to do is just twist two braids at the front of your hair and then I'm going to go in with a long bobby pin. Secure the ends. Now what we're going to do is we're going to comb out my hair. What you can do is blow dry your hair, straighten your hair for this tutorial. Now I have a whole entire video on hairstyles you can do with ponytails. So if you don't really like this one but you do want to do a ponytail, I'm going to link that video so you guys can watch because I showcase a lot more other hairstyles you guys could do. I'm I'm going to go with the got to be spray like just spray a little bit at the sides of my hair I mean like you're gonna want your hair as sleek as possible now I did a ponytail for one of my graduations and I just felt like it was really boring to even look at I'm gonna show you guys what you can how you can make your ponytail a little bit more interesting because again again you're wearing a hat so like it's gonna hide even this I'm gonna turn to the side so you guys can see what I'm doing like that okay we're not really done with the back yet but we want to make like the front super sleek so we're gonna go in 
with like hair wax, hair gel. You can go and take the time to do baby hairs as well. I'm not really a baby hair person. So once that's done, I'm gonna finish up with the back of the ponytail. That's the back. Okay, so now after you've done like the typical ponytail, blah, 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 what's going to make your hair a little bit more interesting is the type of ponytail that you use. Now you can go with a very sleek and straight ponytail, but I did that, it was boring. Okay, you can go in with like curling your hair. Maybe it might give a little bit more texture, but you're gonna want a really thick bundle or ponytail to curl your hair so it can look really full and like enough. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend straight. I would recommend like curly, crimped, maybe deep wave would look nice too. So I have like this crimped like texture and I'm going to put this at the end. The reason why I'm telling you guys to choose a ponytail with a lot of character is because your hair is literally in a ponytail and you're gonna have a cap on. So even with the cap on, I have a lot going on with my hair so it's going to look good if you know what I mean. Because I have all this showing underneath the cap. Ta-da! So that's really it. You can just wear the ponytail like front way like this, have it all the way to the back like that and it'll still look good because the cap will show like, it'll be cap covering like this and it'll show the rest. Okay guys, so that's it for today's video. I want you guys to like up this video if you found it very useful and if you liked one of these hairstyles and comment down below what your favorite hairstyle was. If you did find it helpful, make sure to subscribe to my channel because I do a lot more hair tutorials similar to this. I'll see you guys in my next video and have fun at your guys' graduation. Au revoir.